Okay, guys, so um, this final example, we're gonna start doing, well, we're gonna ask pretty much the same example that we, we have been working with, um, but this one works a little bit differently. Okay, initial conditions are exactly the same, so that is easy for us right now, isn't it? Um, so now we check our condition, and well, uh, sum is smaller than, than 10, true, because it's more, it's zero, okay? So uh, we increment the value of one, well, let me write down the initial conditions, zero, okay? Now, uh, this thing is gonna do, is gonna run as long as sum is smaller than 10, okay? So all values smaller than 10 are valid. Um, so, yeah. So let me say, so I increment by one, so this becomes one, and sum, then we add I to sum, so it was zero and now it's one, now it's one, okay? Now I is two, sum I have one, and we have two, it becomes three. And just, um, yeah, remember, I'm adding this guy, there you go, this guy plus this guy, right? And this guy. Um, so now I is three, three plus three is six, I is four, this thing is 10. Okay, so now this thing, it runs, this part runs perfectly. This one part runs perfectly, why? Because sum is more than 10. Here, it runs perfectly because when it checks it, uh, 10, uh, well, sum is six, then it checks it and says, okay, this is four, this is 10, so it stops. Right here, it stops. Right, and it just runs four times, okay? This last one is a nice code, I really like it. This is what we need to look up, look for. Um, because, why? Because this is like pretty much the best use that we can give, and give to a while, okay? Uh, let me run this in code, just for you to validate that I'm not lying to you, okay? <laughs> 